you know what? I'm actually contemplating giving Dallas a call. You should give them a call. Cause it's I'm, legit. It's yeah. very legit. It's legit for everybody, but yeah. I mean, he has a soft spot in his heart for wrestlers, obviously. Uh, yeah, know? yeah. I mean, he's taking guys in, and, and he really helped Jake the Snake. Yeah, but his his whole system, his DDP yoga. He doesn't even like calling it yoga. He likes to call it just DDP. Yeah, because it's it's you know, it's it's it is yoga. I mean, he's doing yoga moves, but he adds some it's, dynamic tension to right. them and a bunch of other things. And I mean, yeah. that guy is fit as fuck. Yeah, he's and 60. He's in his 60s? I think he's in his 60s. He's yeah. in his 60s. Super flexible. And that's one of the secrets to Chris Jericho's not getting injured. He's another one of those big yoga guys. Oh. And, and when he, DDP came out with his, he switched over to that. Listen, man, Hicks and Gracie, the greatest jiu-jitsu player of all time, was a yogi. He was really into yoga. It was one of his big secrets early yeah. in his career is that Hickson was like super flexible and super strong. I mean, yoga is amazing. But yeah. Dallas can t he can grab his foot like right now at his age and stretch it up to a full split standing. It's crazy. He did right. it in my fucking studio without even warming up. Wow. Just grabs his foot and and can do it. Fuck, I'd tear something. You'd have to pull me out of here. And... Well, he did it. He learned yoga and did all this because his back was so fucked. Yeah. And his back to this day is it's like you know his stenosis is off the charts. He probably mm. barely has any discs back there. But he just strengthened all those muscles on his spinal column so strong through yoga to the point where you know he doesn't really have any pain anymore never yeah. had to get everything fused like a lot of guys wind up getting their shit fused yeah. he just really got into yoga and and helps a lot of people with it too and there's amazing uh success stories on his website where you see there was this one guy in particular who was overweight and he was he had to walk around on crutches and at the end of the video the guy's running you know like uh, a crazy. couple of years of him training him and and, and adjusting his diet and then you know this constant daily dedication to that yoga yeah my wife's been on me she says you need to call him or you know she said, you don't even have to call him i was like well if i, well, if I want to do it, it i need to i need to call you know i need to talk to him just how to do it i need to do it because he's such a great guy too he's such a great guy yeah he's another one of those modal guys that you know positive energy and yeah you know makes you feel better just being you know being around him he's also he like does so much for other people like yeah. he, he really does love helping other people likes helping them get clean clean their act up and yeah. then get their body in shape and get fit you know yeah. he has a whole house in dallas that's dedicated or it's was he in atlanta? atlanta i think atlanta. he's in atlanta. atlanta yeah yeah he has a whole house in atlanta where he keeps people that you know like that are trying to get their shit together yeah. he helps guys out yeah